Hello and welcome to one more episode on Diet Diaries, a prime capsule designed to guide you towards leading a healthier, more fulfilling life. I'm Cheryl Afonso and over the next couple of minutes, I'll be sharing with you answers to nutritional questions that have always boggled you and left you wondering about what's right. Well, being a mother is extremely satisfying. If you choose to forget the role of disciplinarian, peacemaker, referee, etc., that you are often called upon to play as your children squabble. But one question that often leaves parents, and especially mothers, flustered every school morning is, what do I put in my child's tiffin box today? Well, school recesses often find one group of children lining up at the school canteen, money in hand, to refill on soul-satisfying samosas, batatwadas, mirchi pao, aerated beverages and the like. While the other group of school children will open their tiffins to refuel on biscuits, chips and pastries. And yet another group of kids will peep into their snack boxes and close them quickly without even a second glance as they catch sight of a fruit or carrot sticks staring back at them. With both parents gainfully employed and nuclear families becoming the norm today, it is often a cumbersome task to dish out healthy snacks, leave alone wholesome home-cooked meals. The problem is further compounded by youngsters who are hugely influenced by food commercials and peers with refined tastes for whom purchased food is tastier than mommy made snacks. A school break is a required measure to help school children mentally recuperate and remain active for the remainder three odd hours of school before they can rush home to a hearty lunch. This break becomes more than necessary in instances when children often skip breakfast a situation that is becoming increasingly common amongst today's preschoolers, primary and secondary students, as well as adolescents. A school snack ought to be tasty, nutritious, easy to carry and consume, and most importantly, quick to prepare. Bread and jam, butter and cream biscuits are snack options that top the list in today's jet-based world, but these should be resorted to as only fortnightly fillers. So take your snack pick from some of these options. Cutlets and chops, they can be vegetable, chicken, fish, soya, egg or meat, often made for dinner or lunch. Two of these can be kept aside to be slipped into your child's snack box the next morning. Sandwiches, be imaginative and add shredded chicken, diced mushrooms, crumbled paneer, grated cheese, flaked fish, cubed eggs, mixed with mayonnaise or any ready-made dressings along with slices of cucumber, tomato, beetroot and lettuce to slices of whole grain bread or the indigenous pao or poi. Poha and upma serve as healthy breakfast options and can double up as tiffin choices too. Idlis, dosas, uthapams and parathas with varied stuffings such as carrot, potato, radish, methi etc. Though requiring a little bit more preparation time can serve as school snack options following a more relaxed weekend. The virtually chutpat snack alternative would be dunking in a fruit. Apple, orange, gauva, strawberries, peaches, plums, fresh figs or a bowl full of dry fruits. A handy pre-mixture of pistachio, almonds, walnuts, raisins, figs and peaches into your child's snack box. But this snack alternative will only achieve its aim if you have inculcated in your child a love for fruits or else you will be faced with an untouched snack box waiting for emptying and washing when your child is back from school. French toast made by dipping slices of bread in a mixture of egg and milk and then frying them on a pan serves as a quick fix snack too. A quickly put together scrambled egg, what we refer to as egg burji or paneer burji, makes satisfying snacks. Boiled or roasted corn is another easy way to go as a snack. For the traditionally oriented families, thepla and kakra are wholesome snacks. A chicky fruit juice combo is one more option for time-starved parents. 
the secret to ensuring that you send your child to school with a healthy snack each day of the week is planning. Plan either at the start of the week what your child's tiffin options for the week will be or spend a couple of minutes the previous night deciding what you're going to include in your child's snack box the next morning. This way, you will be less stressed and happier too that you are feeding your child right. Well, that's your diet tip for today. And if you have any queries related to the subject of food, diet and nutrition or comments that you wish to share with us, please email us at the address you see scrolling below. And we'll be more than happy to address your questions in our upcoming episodes. Eat right, stay healthy with Diet Diaries on Prime. For many, a morning cup of coffee is what gets them going, while others see coffee as the devil's beverage that brings on a migraine. With gossip doing the rounds that coffee should be banished from one's diet, let's find out how true it is that coffee is addictive and is a health concern.